This is one of the most important videos that you'll ever watch. Do you somehow feel that you need to be lucky to get ahead of others? And are you tired of feeling like you're stuck in this rat race, not able to move forward with any momentum? And do you really want to break free and create that life of fulfillment and happiness? Do you want to experience that true success? I know how you're feeling because I've been there. People have thought of me as a loser and I was really not moving forward in any aspect of my life. And after years of trial and error, I've brought it down to a formula. I want to share with you the secrets on what does it take to get ahead of 99% of of others by just being you and how you can do this in the next one year. You know, I'm just a normal person like you, but I've been able to go from scratch to building a multiple crore business in just few years. And I truly believe that whatever your past may be, you can change your future if you're able to follow these steps. I would like you to watch till the end, take notes and understand how this works. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the four types of luck that are there and how the fourth one is the best one. But before that, I want to talk to you about the seven different stages of of growth. If you have to really go from where you are right now to really getting ahead of 99% of other people, these are the seven steps. The first one is you got to follow your heart. A lot of people today are living lives where they are living for others. They are not taking care of themselves. Even when you get on an aeroplane, the air hostess says that you first got to put oxygen for yourself before you can you know, support your child. And the same happens in life. Most people who are doing things for others and they're neglecting their own personal passions and they're not following their heart, they end up hurting themselves more than ever. So the first question you have to ask yourself is do you really love what you're doing right now because if you're not able to find joy in what you're doing right now there's no way you can get ahead of others there's no way you can create an impact with it so you have to really love what you're doing and that is a starting point to getting ahead of others and one of the secrets to finding what you really love is to also learn how to say no most of the time people who say yes 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 for everything they neglect their own personal fulfillment needs so ask yourself this question do you really love the lifestyle that you're living right now do you really love the work that you're doing right now? Do you love the kind of home that you're living in right now? Do you love your routine, what is there right now? Because if it is not aligned, if you're not living your life on your highest values, you are living in a zone of stress and that's going to create other problems. Like you age fast, you get into depression, you have diseases, stress, all of this is a byproduct of not living in your highest values. Because what I learned from Dr. John D. Martini is that if you don't fill your day with high priority actions, it'll automatically get filled with low priority distractions. So the first step to getting ahead of others is to follow your heart, to listen to your inner voice and to trust that inner voice. There has been many moments in my life where somebody asked me to do something. Inside, I felt, okay, that's not what I really want to do. But I went ahead and did it anyway. And then later on, I realized that I wish I had not started it in the first place. And I'm sure many of you can relate with that particular example, that many of us, we do things for the sake of others without really checking with our inner compass, whether it's the right thing for us or not. So that is the first step. Follow your heart and listen to your inner voice. The second step to really getting ahead of 99% of others is to set goals. This is like Google Maps. There are two ways that you can actually learn about a place. Number one is you can mug up the entire map, which nobody does these days. Or you can open up Google Maps and where you are, you set the, that's the starting point and set the destination, where you are to where you want to go. So writing goals is a very powerful way for you to get clarity on what path you want to take. Because if you know where you want to go, you'll have the power to say no to all those things that will not take you there. Goal setting is one of the most underrated tools for massive success. Everybody knows goal writing is important, but very few actually do it. If you write your goals every single day for the next one year, you'll automatically be ahead of 99% of others. And that's point number two. Let's come to the third point. There is no point writing goals every single day and not taking action. It's like you fill petrol into the car, but you don't even drive. But for you to take guided action, you have to go through a learning process. You got to learn every single day. I'll give you two examples and you tell me which is a better one. Example number one is you got to just learn, pick up a book and read to acquire some new information. The second option is if you have to teach that to somebody else, you have to learn to teach others. In which of these two options will you do better? Will you learn more for learning on your own or will you learn more when you have to teach others? Now, there is a golden nugget over there. When you learn Learn to teach others and when you share your knowledge with others, when you learn, do and teach simultaneously, it's called the golden triangle of success. That will help you get ahead of 99% of others much faster than you can ever imagine. Because what's the point of just learning, 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 learning? That's what we've been doing in school and college, learning multiple books. So what if you know 100 books? So what if you have read 200 books? What is the practical application of that knowledge? That is something you got to think about. And when you start teaching others, you'll learn better, you'll absorb better and you'll start to connect the dots. This is a very powerful secret to 
to getting ahead of 99% of others. The fourth secret is get a mentor. It's better to ride on other people's successes than try to figure things out on your own. According to me, a mentor is somebody who's an implementer of the knowledge, not just somebody who's a teacher of the knowledge. In 2018, I was desperately searching for a mentor because I was trying many, many things. I was following five, six different mentors or I was not considering them as a mentor. I was just learning from various different people, but I was not applying one strategy consistently. I was taking bits and pieces from everywhere and trying to put this together and it was not really working. And then in 2018, I found my mentor and I completely surrendered to his process. If he would tell me to stand on one leg and send an email, I would do that. Now getting a mentor, it's not just about identifying who that person is, but also aligning with that person's values. Don't choose a mentor just because they are successful. Also look at what do they stand for? What is their value system? How are they operating as a person? And I'm so glad that I've had some of the best mentors in the world and I'm just modeling my mentors. And you can definitely have different mentors in different aspects of your life. So if you want to grow in your business, get a mentor. If you want to grow in your relationships, get a mentor. If you want to improve your health, get a mentor. Somebody who's a specialist in that area. Yes, you can have multiple mentors, but in one domain. And the key is to surrender to their process and the system that is already proven. And that is going to help you get ahead of 99% of others because you trying to figure it out, you're going to slip and fall. If somebody has said, hey, this works, follow this, you know, six steps and that's going to help you move forward, just follow it. Sometimes the biggest stumbling block of success is trying to be over intelligent. It's trying to use your brains too much. Sometimes it's better to, to park your brain in the freezer and apply what works. Let's come to the fifth secret. I want you to imagine a glass jar. And if you have to put different things in the glass jar, let's say there are big boulders, rocks, and there is medium sized rocks, and there's smaller size rocks, and there's smallest size rocks, and then there is sand. Which one will you put inside that first? You got to put the big size rocks first, right? This glass jar is like your environment. Design an environment in such a way where no people are intruding and coming into your world. And these rocks that I actually shared with you, these are the priorities of actions that you got to take. The most important activities, if you do that first and keep the last priority activities, the sand later, you'll be able to fulfill and fill up that entire jar. So secret number five is you got to create a strong environment for yourself. You got to set the boundaries for yourself and don't allow anyone and anyone to just take your time. And you also need to prioritize your actions within that environment in such a way which is going to help you lead towards your goal. When people don't have clarity on their goals, they will not be able to prioritize which rocks to put into that jar first. Honestly, this is such a simple concept, but very few people will implement this. I hope you there watching this are going to be the one implementing this. If you're really going to implement this, type in the comment box. I will implement this. I want you to type it right now. My mentor Blair Singer says that you cannot change people. People are living in an autopilot mode. But if you can change their environment, they will change. So what you can do is protect your environment. Set the boundaries. Know your priorities and keep it airtight. This will help you get ahead of 99% of others. Are you ready for secret number six? This is all about skill set building. You can only get ahead of 99% of others if you are able to create value in the marketplace. Where people are able to value you as a person. So how do they value you? That's a question, right? It's all about skills. What skills are in demand in this world? Make a list of them. And what skills do you feel that you can develop for yourself? Make a list of that and start learning those skills. There are other videos on my YouTube channel that you can go and check out where I speak about different kinds of skills to you know create incredible wealth on the internet. Please go and watch that after this video. And I would also request you to be a part of my community. There's a link in the description. You can go and attend my next webinar and join my community where I will teach you these skills. I run something called a hackathon. It's a 90 day process where I'll help you build all these skills, video creation skills, podcast recording skills, curriculum design skills, marketing skills, courses. There are so many skills that you got to learn and it's not going to happen overnight, but these skills are in demand and that's what will help you get ahead of others. And finally, the seventh secret, it is to attract luck. This is what what I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to talk about four different kinds of luck. Let's see which luck are you going to be chasing. The first kind of luck is blind luck. Person winning a lottery and suddenly, you know, their whole life changing. And that's very, very rare. The second kind of luck is luck from working really hard. Some people said, right, work hard, work hard, work hard. And that's what will make you lucky. There's nothing better than that. Hustle your way to luck to get lucky. That's the second way, but there's a better way than this. The third kind of luck is getting lucky through awareness. When you learn, when you're exposed to where the world is going, when you're continuously in the learning mode, you'll be able to look at patterns and make decisions that will put you in the right place. For example, the reason I run one of the largest communities in the world is because in 2018 itself, because of the exposure that I had in the training coaching industry and the digital marketing world, I had an awareness that everything is moving in this direction. So I started to build 
a business from my home from 2018 itself. And when COVID happened, it really did not affect my business in any way negatively, but on the positive side. So I had the massive growth during the COVID time because everybody was locked in at home. And because I was teaching something that was really valuable to others, it has now become the most in-demand skill. But there's one more luck, which is even better than this. It's luck from your own uniqueness. When you do something continuously for a long period of time, when people know you for a particular craft that you're really good at, and when you're really adding so much of value in the marketplace, you'll come to a point where luck will find you. Opportunities will come to you and you don't have to go to opportunity. You'll be in a position where you have to choose the opportunities. Now that is the ultimate luck. So if you want to get ahead of 99% of other people in the world in the next one year, you have to design your luck. I hope you found this video useful. If you found this useful, I would like you to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and follow me for future videos because what I love to share is practical knowledge that has worked for me. It's experiential knowledge. I'm not just sharing this by looking at some other videos. I'm sharing it from my own personal experience and I truly believe in you. Even if you, you don't believe in yourself, I believe in you and I believe that you can change your life because everyone is unique. Everybody has a different journey. All the best in getting ahead of 99% of others in the next one year. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.